got one for y'all. Let a few people get in here. We're gonna kick it. Tell y'all a little something, something. Let me grab some water real quick. You got a whole bit of ain't more than a few. What up, though? What the feezy? What up, though? Big shout out to all y'all. Damn, I forgot to text Chill Will. Let him know I'm going live. He gonna cuss my ass out. He gonna be like, alive without me? Y'all gotta let Chill Will know, my bad, if he come here. <laughs> if he want to be on point with these lives, man, I be forgetting. What up, though? Not the Mother's Day bra, that's a wild title. The thumbnail finna go even crazier. I just, I was about to make it, but I said I'm gonna do it after I do this. What up though, what up though? All right, we got a hundred something people in here. I'm finna go on take off. I was gonna wait till a few people get in here, but it's definitely a few people in here. What up though? Shout out to all y'all. So I'm in the dorm. We got this little brother in there named P by the G. Now, this a little young dude. Bro can't be no more than about 20 years old. We be having to get on them a lot, but it don't never be nothing major to the point we ain't gotta lay hands, elbows, and feet on them. It ain't nothing like that. But we just be having to tell them a lot. Like I used to have to tell them all the time, folks, pull your pants up, G. Pull your pants up. That's not a good representation, uh, representation of us. You know what I'm saying? Like he sag a lot. He be loud, just unnecessarily arguing with people and stuff like that. But he wasn't no. He just went on with Peabody G. He arguing with somebody. He used to come up with the brightest, stupidest ideas in, uh, on earth. I mean, like, literally, ideas he used to have to do this and do that failed every single time. None of his ideas worked. None of his ideas were bright. None of them were smart. None of that. And I used to try to talk to him because, he. I mean, I was young, too, I was, but I was older than him. I had to be about 26, 26 possibly 27, but I believe I was closer to the 25, 26 range. So I was older than him. And I used to try to talk to him all the time, like, bro, you need to tighten up. You need to tighten up. Every day it seemed like he came up with some bright ass idea or something. So we cooking one day. It was Mother's Day, actually. We cooking. We done made a big ass nacho kit. Everybody, you know, all of my guys and even the people that's not my guys, maybe that this guy rock with strong. Everybody got a nice bowl, big bowl of nachos and stuff. And then when everybody was full and there was still nachos left, we would ask the people in the dorm that we know was kind of down bad, didn't really have no money. Their family didn't really support them. You know, we'd ask them, like, hey, go get your bowl. You want some of this? And we'd give the rest of it to them. So I'm walking up the steps with my bowl, fat ass nacho. I'm hungry, I ain't ate nothing all day. One of the guys walking directly behind me, we both coming up here cause I got the Kool-Aid in my room and I ain't got the Kool-Aid off the stove. I got the kitchen Kool-Aid. If you don't know nothing about the kitchen Kool-Aid, it's a little small pouch, silver pack. It just say the name on it. It is so potent. I'm talking about, you can put this much in a cup Fill it up with water. It's going to be sweet as hell. It's real, real good and potent. Super good, super potent. So I got the kitchen Kool-Aid up here. So we're coming up here to my room. As we're walking up here, P by the G, he come walking down the range. He got his bowl in his hand. Damn cheese all on the side of his mouth. He got like crushed up, little small crumbs of Doritos on his top lip. So when we come over there, talking about, hey G, hey G, I just look at him. I'm like, man, wipe your damn face off, folks. Bro, you 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 embarrassing me, bro. Nigga finna whoop your ass. I would, you know, I was just talking. I was just trying to get him to tighten up with him. So he gonna wipe his face off, smiling and stuff, like it's all funny and stuff. I'm like, gee, that's not funny, bro. That's not funny, bro. That's not funny at all. Because I don't know. I just be thinking about things in a different type of aspect. Like, if, if you got a brand new officer that works here, right? And this is just the way I was thinking back then. If you got a brand new officer, this is her first day here, and I'm trying to shoot a shot at her 
or I'm trying to help us get some money. Whatever I'm trying to do, when she see me associating with you and she look at you, pants hanging half off your head, clothes wrinkled, cheese on your lips, she gonna look at me like a goofy. Cause she gonna be like, what he doing associating with him? If y'all haven't hit the like button, go and tap it real quick. It's a lot of people that don't be getting they notifications. The like button is what pushes it more and all of the members, the subscribers, it sends everybody their notifications. So please tap that like button for me real quick. <clears throat> yeah, it helps the algorithm. I'll give y'all a second, man. Y'all ain't got to worry about missing a story. I just need y'all to do that for your boy real quick. <clears throat> For sure. So we walking up here to the room. So he come up after I tell him, bro, wipe your damn mouth, bro. He come in the room behind us. He like, hey, G. Hey, you know, my brother G got down here. Now, he have been saying that allegedly, talking about his daddy, because his daddy used to be a lieutenant years ago. But he talking about his daddy going to pull some strings and get his brother sent down here. But we was thinking that's not going to happen. Now, I have seen that a few times. But... Is not coming. If the administration finds out that, you know, these is real blood brothers at the same prison, they're going to transfer one of y'all off. So we was thinking like, no, nah, watch out. So, but, and then he just, he carries himself like he's goofy or something. So we never really take what he's saying too serious. So he like, hey, now he have been telling us his brother finna get transferred down here, talking about his daddy going to pull a string or something like that. So he comes in the room, he say, hey, G, hey, he wiping the cheese and chips and stuff off his face he like hey man my brother just got down here bro he on the other side though i think we were in um what dorm was i in i think i was in b2 and his brother was in like g something he was on the whole other side of the compound like you can't even see that side from looking out the window you gotta go walk all the way around so he like man my brother just got down here bro i'm trying to get over there i'm trying to get closer in the dorm with my brother he said man i got an idea i need y'all to with me so I'm like, what's up, Peabody, bro? The man say, man, I need y'all to put me on the dope. So I'm like, what? He like, I need y'all to put me on the dope, bro. I'm going to pack up all my stuff. I'm going to just act like I'm scared as hell. I need y'all to put me on the dope. So I'm like, folks, no, no. Now, at this point, my word, my word meant it. You feel me? I, I'm the one with the say, so I'm like, no, that's stupid. We're not doing that because even if you're trying to finesse that, that's going to have heat on us, looking at us like we some type of bullies or we doing stuff to people. No, we not doing that. So he like, listen, G, you know what's going on. I just want to get closer to my brother. I'm going to act like I'm... I'm like, bro, did you not just hear what I said, G? No, ain't nobody doing that. That's stupid. Put your damn self on the door. Now, here's the thing. You can put yourself on the door in prison. You can. Now, you can go say whatever you want to say. But to not really specifically point nobody out to the police and not have nobody in the dorm feeling no type of way towards you, in the standard operating procedure, they say if an inmate tells a staff member that he fears for his life inside of a dormitory, they must remove him. So that's something that, you know, is manipulated upon because people don't be fearing. I mean, you got some people who do. But like me, if I didn't want to be in a dorm for whatever reason, if I just wanted to try my best to get to another dorm, all I would do, boom, and they'll pop the door and let me out. Because there have been so many situations in the past where an inmate said they fear for their life in the dorm, and the officer like, man, ain't nothing going on, you lying, you just trying to get to another dorm. And then he ended up getting pulled out or losing his life. So... When an inmate tells an officer, I fear for my life in this dorm, they must let them out of the dorm. So I tell bro, I'm like, listen, you, if you want to leave that bad, bro, you can go tell that officer you fear for your life and she's going to let you out the dorm. So he said, nah, G, they not going to believe me, man. I was already trying to talk to the lieutenant about it earlier. And he told me if I try to pull any stunt, he not letting me out the dorm. He going to send me to the hole. 
I say, folks, if we put you on the door, you're still going to the hole. It don't matter either way. So just do what you got to do. So he like, nah, bro. It just if y'all do it, it's gonna look more real. You feel me? Especially if y'all put on a stunt, chase me around or something. It's gonna look more real. You know what I'm saying? Then they'll really get me up out of here. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody doing all that. 400 people in the chat, 100 something likes. Hit that like button for me. That just pushes the algorithm. So I'm like, bro, ain't nobody about to do all that, bro. We not doing all that. So he leave out the room. So bro who I'm in there talking to, he got his cup with him. I pour him some of the powder Kool-Aid in there. I'm getting my cup ready. I'm like, man, folks, crazy as hell. And he like, man, that little dude done lost his damn mind. So I put my nachos down. I think I ate like two of them real quick. They were hidden too. I sat it down on top of my box. Me and bro go downstairs to the hot water tank. Cause on that, on that powder Kool-Aid, you definitely got to hit it with some hot water just to you know, loosen it up so it don't get clumped up. And if you put cold water on it, it's not going to all dissolve. It's going to be clumps of it and stuff. So we go down there, hit it with the hot water. Don't fill it all the way up with hot water. You got to just do enough, about that much, just to make all the Kool-Aid dissolve in there. Then that's when you hit it with ice and cold water and all that once it's all good and dissolved and stuff. We're walking back this way. Bro, didn't he so hungry, he didn't leave his nacho bowl in my room. He took it down there with him. He's walking with it, eating it on the way there. Then when we got down there, he eating his while I'm making my Kool-Aid to set his nacho bowl on the um on the water faucet thing and then made his. So now we're walking back this way, getting ready to go back to my room. He got his nachos in his right hand. He got his cup of Kool-Aid in his left hand. I just got the Kool-Aid. I left my nachos upstairs. We're walking up. I just took like two steps on the steps. I see P by the G come across the floor like that. So he said, I'm in front of bro. So ultimately he has to stop. He snatched the Kool-Aid. Y'all can see me? I think my connection just went out or something. Y'all can see me and hear me? It just said connection failed. You good? Okay. Yeah, I think it had just froze that one that one time. I think my connection was kind of going up. They say I'm good now. All right, bet. Peabody G smacks the Kool-Aid, smacks the nachos out, bro, hand. It falls down. The Kool-Aid go, you know, all across the floor. Nachos go everywhere across the floor. Instantly, Peabody turns this way, starts skipping, pulling up his pants. Bro look down at the stuff like looking, trying to see that he really just do that. He takes off running behind, bro. I didn't even say nothing, bro. Now, I could have said something, and he would have stopped just on the strength that, you know, we had a tight structure at that time. He would have stopped if I would have told him. I didn't even say nothing, bro. Cause I'm like, if he beat P by the ass, that's what he get. Why would you smack that man food out of his hand, bro? So he go chasing him across the floor. When bro go chasing him, P by the star screaming. Ah! Officer! Officer! Ah! He got to scream. So now he done ran down the steps. Bro done jumped over the rail, almost had him. He done came back running this way. So now all my other guys coming out their room and looking who didn't know what was going on, they all go to looking at me. Because I'm just sitting there looking. They're like, man, what the hell going on, CBA? CBA, what the hell going on, folks? Folks, what the hell they got going on? So I just did like this, like, leave them alone, basically. The girl in the booth go to beating on the window. Boo, 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 boo. She go to beating on the window. So when she go to beating on the window, that's when I tell folks, stop chasing them, bro. Stop chasing them. He stopped chasing them. Peabody was running up the steps over here by where I was at at this time. So he was getting ready to come up the steps, and then I guess he thought about it. it like his foot was on the step, and he thought about it and was like turning this way, getting ready to go back on the big floor. I grabbed him by the shirt. He tried to pull away from me, but I pulled him real hard. I grabbed him by the shirt and just pulled him upstairs like he... My little kid or something. I had him jacked up by the shirt. I'm like, man, get your tired ass up here, bro. So I get him all the way up the steps. The girl in the booth started beating on the windows hard, way harder. Boo, 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 boo. So I stopped. She pointing at me, talking about whatever she was saying. So one of them dudes who down there by the booth, by where she at, she go to tell him to come here. He come over there. He lift up the flat, put his ear in there so he can hear what she's saying. She screaming through that thing. Let him go. 
Let him go right now. Let him go. So I heard what she was saying, but I'm like, what she say, G? So he like, she talking about let him go, let him go. I'm like, man, ain't nobody about to do nothing else. She like, she said, let him go, bro. And I seen she was like this, you know what I'm saying? So I know she would call him the call. So I let him go. This man take off running again. So I told bro, who was coming up behind me, I said, bro, that man probably finna go to the hole. When he get out the hole, he getting his ass whooped just for doing this, just for calling this type of scene right here. His ass is getting whooped, bro. So she called a call. They come in there. Now, when he take off running back, that way she popped the door. She started coming in. He was coming down the steps on the other side. All of my guys done migrated over here by to where I was at. She's standing at the door. He walked down. And I hear him say, I fear for my life. I fear for my life. And she said, go on out there. Go on out there. And she pushed the door open, closed the door behind him. She's still in the dorm. And then she came to the middle of the floor and was looking up there at us, talking about, what y'all got going on? I'm like, we don't got nothing going on. She told me, what y'all was chasing them for? I said, wasn't nobody chasing? She said, I just seen y'all chasing. I just seen about three of y'all chasing. Especially, you was the main one pointing at me. I'm like, lady, you a goddamn lie. I ain't chasing nobody. I ain't moved from these damn steps. I ain't chasing nobody. She said, I seen y'all. I seen y'all chasing them. So she leaves out the dorm eventually. So I'm like, that's crazy. I froze again. It froze up again. No. Okay, cool. So she like, uh, now nah, I seen all y'all chasing. So she leave out the door. So I go in the room. So now nah, I'm just kind of eating my nacho old fat. I was hungry as hell. But I'm like, man, ain't no telling what these folk might finna try to do. Might be... Just might try to do anything. So I'm eating a nacho real quick. So you know my folks coming at that like, what's going on? I'm like, man, he just being stupid, trying to talk about his brother on the other side of the compound. Little do he know I'm finna call over there and get his ass violated. Soon he get over there for causing this disruption in here like that. When he could have peacefully went and told that girl and wouldn't all this wouldn't never happen. He gonna smack folks food and stuff like that all out his hand. Man, when the folks come in there, the officer, they come in there, they make all of us get on the door. Sometimes they make us lock down. This time they told us, get all everybody line up on your door. Whatever your assigned room is, line up on the door. So I'm sitting on the door. You know, I got the line put up, been put that up. So I'm sitting up here on the door, me and my roommate, everybody lined up on their door. They come in, they looking down. One of the search teams is like, what the hell happened here? He looking at the food and the Kool-Aid. So bro, who... Bro smacked it out of his hand. He said, man, that retarded little boy, man. Playing too much made me drop my food, man. The lady said, he a damn lie. He a damn lie. They was trying to take it from him. They was trying to rob him and take the damn food from him. And it ended up falling out of his hand. So I'm thinking in my head, like, I know Peabody G ain't told her nothing like that. I think she just saying stuff, bro. She just, she just wants something to say, folks. <laughs> she just wants something to say. She's just saying anything possible. She just wants something to say. So he looked back. He like, who? Who? She like, oh, that one? He, she pointed at the one who was talking. Certain things said, come here. She said, that one? One of the guys didn't have nothing to do with it. She pointed at him. Then she going to come down to the side looking. Talking about, mm-hmm. And that one right there. That one. That one right there, his little bald-headed ass, he was the main one. And then going to snatch the man up by the neck. And pulling them all the way up the stairs and stuff. I'm like, gee, you is lying, folks. So the search team like, come on, come on. So I go down the steps. So we all standing there. It's like four search team members. It's three of us standing there. He was like, hey, look, this is our only chance, bro. What the hell going on? Let us know what's going on. And you know, we ain't trying to do no paperwork. We ain't trying to have nobody sent to the hole. Just let us know what's really what, what's really going on. I said, bro. Bro who just left out of here and my bro right here, they was just playing. They was right here playing, wrestling. Bro had his food. They didn't think they was playing that hard. Bro who just left out made him drop the food for playing too much. He went to chasing him. They both laughing and kiki, ha ha. They're both just playing. It ain't nothing serious. Wasn't nobody mad. I say the one who just left out the dorm, that's one of my bros too. So you know we not trying to do nothing to him. It's all love. We was just playing. That's all that was. Then when he came running up this way, when she started hitting the glass, he was still trying to play. So I grabbed him by the shirt and was telling him, come upstairs, stop playing, because the lady probably finna call the code. 
<clears throat> the lady say, he a damn lie, sir. Sir, he a damn lie. Because they were swinging at him and everything. I'm like, damn, you just going to keep throwing extra stuff on there every damn time, man. So he like, man, y'all going to pack up y'all stuff. All y'all going to the hole. I'm like, bro, ain't no way, bro. There is no way possible, bro. There is no way you just told us, pack up our property. All of us finna go to the hole. He like, man, pack up your property. Everybody going to the hole. So they tell the rest of the door, y'all locked down. Go in your room and lock the door. So now it's just us three packing up our property. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. So I'm going, I'm packing my property. Now I'm trying to debate. They made my roommate stand outside the room. So I'm trying to debate if I want to, um, I'm trying to debate if I want to try to work a move and pull my phone out and take it to the hole with me. Because it's put up pretty good, but I can get it. I about can get it. I feel my throat getting dry. I got to get some water. Hold up. Y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. It's free. It don't cost nobody now. <clears throat> and I know they're going to be commenting talking about, I hate when they tell me to hit the like button in the middle of the story. I love you, man. Return of the Mac. Appreciate it. For joining that membership. Yeah, it's free, man. Almost 600 people, 200 likes. It just pushes the algorithm for the people who be like, I ain't get my notification. It, it, it helps them get it, the more likes. But anyway, yeah, I did just drink some water out of the seat. I ran out of bottles of water, and I just ain't went and got no more. But anyway, so my roommate's standing outside the door. So I'm like, after I get all my stuff packed up, I'm like, what they doing, folks? What they doing? So he like, just standing here. He got his head down. I could kind of see like the side of his face. He was like, just standing here, just standing here. I was like, you think I got enough time to grab my phone? He was like, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So I hear him say, hey, sir. So sir, like what? He was like, hey, man, I can grab my cup. I can make me a cup of Kool-Aid real quick. So he like, go ahead. So he comes in the room and grab his cup out of his box. He was like, you good. They down there chilling. They ain't even coming up here or nothing. You good. So I'm like, all right, so he go to grabbing the cup, but the door is wide open. But I'm all the way in the corner, so if they sitting in the center, they can't see me with what I'm doing. So I get to where I need to get, and you know, I'm in the process of pulling the phone out. I think about a good 30, 40 seconds done went by, and my roommate say, damn, man. And I hear the cup drop, but I know for a fact he's telling me they close. I know that that's what that means. Man, I go to fumbling. I don't grab the phone. I don't hurry up. Stuck it in my pants. So when the next thing you know, certain team walk straight in the room. So he looking down, looking at my feet. He looking at my hand. He like, man, what the hell you ain't doing? I'm like, man, I just packed up my stuff. I'm trying to tuck in my shirt. He like, what the hell you got to tuck in your shirt for? You got you about to go to the hole. I say, because you want my shirt to be tucked in when we hit the walk, don't it? Heart beating fast as hell. I'm like, oh my goodness, boy. I know that man ain't just seen me. So he's looking down, staring right at where the phone at. So I'm looking down, bro. You can see the bottom part of it. Like you can see the, like that. You know what the bottom of your phone look like. Like that imprint through my pants, bro. So he looking right at it. He say, man, what the hell you got in your pants, Bill? I'm like, I ain't got nothing in my pants. What you mean? I got, I got, it was supposed to be in there. You asked me what I got in there. What you got going on? So, you know, I'm always going to try to flip the script any way possible. So, he tell the other sir, he's like, hey, come here real quick. So, they come up there. Now, they four deep, bro, in the room. So I finished doing my shirt and stuff. So, now, it's like I'm pushing my stomach. I hope this makes sense. I'm pushing my stomach because, like, the pants is around. This is my waist. These are the pants. I'm pushing it because I pulled them all the way up. I'm trying to make this space as tight as possible so this phone won't drop. So like, I just came up here and made fumbling real bad. And then look, look right there. Look right there. So they looking like right here. He like, look right there. I know I ain't tripping on it. Look like something curving right there or something like that. So I'm like, bro, what you got going on, G? You looking at my pants talking about something curving, folks. You is tweaking, bro. Like, what, what, what's up with these man? So the other 13 started laughing. One of them say, man, turn around real quick. I'm like, turn around for what? He like, so we can handcuff you. 
I'm like, damn, I know they're trying to finesse me, man. I'm about to lose my damn phone. So I turn around, put my hands behind my back. He handcuffed me. He like, nah, he good. He ain't got nothing on him. He good. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. Man, as soon as I walk out of the room, they was just capping. As soon as we got outside the door, he said, where you said it was at? And the other 13 grabbed my pants, right here the handle of the pants, and started shaking it real hard. Phone fell straight down, hit the floor. He reached to the bottom of my pants, pulled the phone out. He said, oh, you in here trying to fight people and jump on people and you got a phone in here. I'm like, man, damn, man. Definitely finna whoop Peabody ass. Nah, there, there's no way around that. They take us to the hole. They put me in the room with this guy by the name of Bishop. Bishop is um, extremely, extremely, extremely religious. Um, I, I was in a dorm with Bishop before. I will try the best of my ability to avoid uh, contact with Bishop. I would try, thank you, Talk Heavy dropping that cash up. That's my cash up, Talk Heavy Drop. I would try. Damn, just seeing this live. That's what I was telling y'all about the like button. Tap that like button. Damn, did I set this so only subscribers can comment? I ain't do it. I'm going to do it next time. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I ain't do it. I got to do it earlier on. But all right, so um, we go to the hole. I'm like, damn, bro. There's no way. They put me in a room with this guy by the name of Bishop. On the compound, I would try the best of my ability to avoid any contact with Bishop. I think the man is slap crazy, but he has motion, and sometimes he do make sense, and he is extremely religious. He is the type of person that I try to force his religion on you. He'll try to force, you know, the Bible and what he believe on you. Like, he's not hearing nothing about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? He'll respect it, but if y'all are talking about it, and, you know, it's like there's nothing you can tell him. So people like that, I try to avoid any form of contact with. So when they tell me what room I'm going to, I'm like, bro, ain't no way, bro. Now, I know I can pull a stunt, but I don't feel like getting pepper sprayed and all that. So I'm like, it is what it is, bro. We just going to go in here with Bishop. It is what it is. But like I said, he be having motion. But you can never buy something from Bishop without him reading you off a of Bible scripture. Impossible. He's not going to do it. He's going to have a talk with you. So they tell Bishop Cuff up. The man comes to the door talking about, who is that child bringing in here? Who is that child bringing in here? Because I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God, and, and I just don't click with any spirits. So the 13, like, man, we don't care about none of that shit you talk about. Turn around and cuff up. You get in the room, mate, or you finna get pepper sprayed. Either one. However you want to do it, you finna get pepper sprayed. So he's screaming to the 13, talking about, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. 13 going to pull off his pepper spray. Talk about, yeah, you see this spray? It got child of God written all over it. Turn around and cuff up, man. So he turned around and cuff up. So they open the door. He said, oh, C. Bill, black man, black brother, what's up, C. Bill? Oh, what's up, C. Bill? I told God, make sure I got me a good, decent roommate. Won't he do it? C. Bill, come on in here. So I'm like, man, damn, bro. Now, y'all know, I, you know, I believe in the most high 100%, but, bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. So, going around, they uncuffed me. This man got Bible scriptures on the wall everywhere. Like, share, subscribe, share, join the membership, and support the channel and the cash app. Appreciate that talk, Heavy. Thank you, family, for that support. The man got Bible scriptures written everywhere on the wall. Literally, all on the wall. On the flow, I don't know how the hell he got a hold of a Sharpie. He got it written on the back of the toilet, just all kind of stuff. Then he got won't he do it real, real big on the wall. Like, it's just everywhere. Bible scriptures. He got pictures of pastors stuck on the toothpaste, sticking on the top of this uh thing. Thank you for that uh super chat. Thank you for supporting your boy. He got all kind of stuff all over the wall and stuff. So... <clears throat> Clearly, he was just talking to the dude in the room next to him before I came in the room. So, you know, I talked to him for a little minute. He like, what the hell happened, CBS? So I tell him what happened. He like, damn, that's crazy. So, bro, hit the vent. So he like, yo. So he go down there in the corner, get down on his knees. He like, like he just kneel down on one knee. That's how you got to kind of talk through the vent. Sometimes you can sit down if you finna be chilling for a minute, but he just kneel down on one knee. He like, hey, uh, bro, you still gonna let me? 
make that phone call. You still gonna let me? Uh, I'm trying to call my little brother and get some money. So he's in the hole. He's in the hole for pulling somebody out. He been back here for months, and he got a phone. He got motion. He got Chris Brown, Al Green. He got that that stuff. He got strips, everything. So he be, you know, people who he know who he cool with. He send the phone out, let the music work. So dude said, oh, you said you said you trying to call your little brother and pick up some money. So burning his door like, yeah, I'm trying to call my little brother, man. He supposed to have that green dot for me. So he said, you going to call your mama and tell her happy Mother's Day too. So bro like, what? He like, you going to call your mama and tell her happy Mother's Day? So bro was like, nah, hell nah, man. I'm finna call my little brother, bro. He was like, what? You do know it's Mother's Day, don't he? he? Like, yeah. He was like, so why you don't want to call your mama and tell her Happy Mother's Day? So, bro, through the vent was like, man, come on, Bishop, bro. Come on, Bishop. I ain't trying to go through. I ain't trying to explain all that. He was like, bro, what I'm saying is, I will let you use the phone, brother, but I want you to call your mama and tell her Happy Mother's Day. I'll let you use the phone to call your brother, but you need to be calling your mama too and telling her Happy Mother's Day. So, <clears throat> bro, through the vent was like. Did you get the cash app I sent? Appreciate it, family. I'm not, uh, I ain't got that other phone with me right now, but if you sent it, I got it. Big shout out to Gary Bethett, Bethel. Thank you for that support, family. So he like, bro, I'm not trying to call my mama. So Bishop like, why? He said, just tell me why, and I'm going to send you the phone. So bro was like, I don't really want my mama like that. This man, Bishop, said, what? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You say you don't want your mama like that. <clears throat> so bro was like, nah, hell no. Nah. The man looks back at me and says, CBM, CBM, you heard that? You heard this damn crazy man. You heard this man just say he don't, with his mom. I'm making my bed up. I, I'm like, hey, bro, hey, hey, hey. I heard him, but hey, that ain't got nothing to do with me, bitch. So he go back to the bed. He like, bro, what do you mean you don't, with your mama? Your mama carried you on her stomach for nine months. Your mama went to work to put food on the table. Your mama sent you to school with clothes on your back. How the hell you going to say you don't with your mama? That's crazy. I hate when people say that. I hate when a person tell me they don't with their mama. And they mama done did everything that made all kind of sacrifices for them. The man voice went to damn crack. And I said, Bishop, I finna cry. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm about to pull my stunt. Tell the police, get me the hell up out the damn room. This man slapped damn crazy. I knew better than coming here in the damn first place. So, dude through the vent said, this the thing, Bishop, bro. He said, bro, my whole life, bro, my entire life, my mama ain't never listened to me. My mama ain't never believed nothing I say, bro. The only time my mama with me and, and talk to me and come around me, bro, when it be about some money, bro. He said, bro, since I've been grown, bro, he said my mama talk to me and kick it with me and holler at me when it's about some money. He said, if I, if I got a real dream about something, I really want to do something with my life or I need some good motherly advice on it, bro. He said, I'm 34 years old, Bishop, bro, and not one time in my life. Call uh, my mom and get some real motherly advice. Never been able to talk to my mom. Damn, bro, what's up with my signal, bro? Hmm. What's up? I'm back or what? I'm good. How far back I need to go, bro? When it started doing it? How much y'all heard, bro? Damn, man. Wi-Fi messing up, bro. Get to talk to my mom. So he said, bro, if I say something and then you say something and then I tell my mama you lying and you tell my mom I'm lying, my mama gonna believe you. She gonna automatically believe you, bro. My mama just been that way my whole life, bro. He said, my mama ain't never told me I love you, son. My mama ain't never gave me a hug when I came in from school. My mama never asked me, how's my day going? None of that, bro. So I just don't with her, bro. She don't with me for real. I don't with her for real, bro. It's just that, bro. That's all it is, bro. So, bro, like, bro, that is crazy, bro. That is so crazy to me, bro. So he turned to me and say, see, Bill, bro, your mama, your mama carried you in her stomach. Yo, mama. Put food on the table for you. Your mama went to work and did this and that. And this man, 34 years old, gonna have the audacity to say he don't with his mama. 
bro, I just want your honest opinion, CBL. CBL. So I'm sitting there like, man. So he's like, CBL. CBL, I know you don't want to be involved in this, bro. I know you don't want to be involved in this, CBL. But listen, bro, I just want your honest opinion. I want your honest opinion, CBL, bro. Your mama did all these sacrifices for you. Your mama did this and this and that. Tell this man he crazy, CBL. CBL, let this man know he crazy. So I was like, well, <clears throat> I was like, well, I don't think he crazy, bro. He was like, what you mean? What you mean you don't think he crazy, CBL? I said, well, bro, listen, this the thing. Number one, I mean, I don't even really want to go here, but I'm just about to go here anyway. If, if a woman does what women do in order to, you know, bear a child, and she have a child, and the child is born, and she put diapers and feed the child milk, and she goes to work to provide food for the child, number one, that's her goddamn job. That's what she's supposed to do. The child didn't whisper to her in a dream one day and say, hey, mama, go on handle that business so I could be here. It didn't happen like that. So that's her, you know, that's her business. That's her job. That's what she's supposed to do. So the things that you're saying, that's what she's supposed to do anyway, regardless, number one. Number two, considering all of the things he just said, you can't just ignore that, folks. And then it's like this. When people say, oh, hell no, nah, I don't care what it is, I don't care what's going on, ain't nobody, I don't care what you say, bro, you can't tell me nothing bad about your mama or your, with your mama, because at the end of the day, but your mama going to be the one that's going to be there for you, regardless. Majority of the people that says that, they may have a good mother or mother figure role model. Not role model. I think that was the wrong word, but y'all see what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Rodney. Thank for that support, family. The people who, because I used to be that way, bro. I used to speak against stuff like that, bro. Like, if somebody say something crazy about their mama, I'd be pissed off. But it's like, the people who feel that way, they may have had such good experience with their mama, or they may feel so good about their mama that, you know, they feel like should nobody ever say nothing about their mama. But you got to thank all the things that man just said. She never told him she loved him. She never gave him a hug. She never said, son, how you doing? Anything he ever brought to her, she dismissed it. She never believed nothing he said. I said, bro, that'll make a child grow up and kind of, you know, have resentment towards a person. You see what I'm saying? So if he's at his grown age now, 34-something years old, and somebody said my screen is black, bro, God damn. Y'all can see me. The majority can see me. Okay, that sounds good. So, I'm like, bro, if somebody had, you know, something going on with their mama and that's how he been feeling and that's what he held on to all these years, bro, you can't tell him how to feel, G. The man say, see me, see me, man, the Bible say you honor your mother and father uh, or your days will be shortened. I said, okay, well, listen, I don't think he's dishonoring his mother by not dealing with her. I think, you know, he's dishonoring her by doing certain crazy things if he decide to do it or, you know, speaking to her in a certain manner, doing certain things, all kind of stuff. But if he like, bro, the Bible say, honor your mother and father or your days will be short. I said, okay, well, bro, listen. Now I'm starting to get frustrated. Now I'm like, hey, listen, nigga. Number one, don't be the goddamn screaming at me. I ain't your child, number one. Number two, if your mama does the things he said his mama do from when he was a child, now he's 34, and he's just at a point where he don't deal with her, do you feel like he is dishonoring her? So he said, yeah, yeah, because you're supposed to talk to your mom. I'm like, well, hey, bro, I don't know. I don't know. So he get back down there on the vent. He go to talking to him some more. He go to arguing. They they going back and forth now. So now Brutton has though done cussed him out, told Bishop, Fuck you all kind of stuff. Bishop told him when he see him, he gonna lay hands. My bad, y'all. I don't know what's up with this, bro. Let me know when I'm good. Brittany, you so motherfucking fine. Hey, this ain't no goddamn uh date hookup chat line. <laughs> This ain't no damn chat line, nigga. So, 
Um, so he turned to me after they argue, they argue for a while. I done finally got my stuff made up. I done got on the bed and stuff. I'm finna go on in this so this damn thing can stop happening. So I'm up there just chilling. I'm just laying there thinking about, you know, how the day went. I really want to use Bishop Phone, but I slick don't want to say nothing to him because, you know, the man crazy, bro. I don't want him to start asking me about my damn mama or something. So he say out the blue. After he done calmed down, he cool. Hey, C. Bill, you need to use the phone, bro. I say, hell yeah, bro. He like, yeah, I know how it feel, bro. I know how it be. Your phone get knocked off. He holds it up there to me. He like raises it up. I grab it. I'm like, appreciate that, bro. I called a little female I was dealing with. And then, you know, I'm log. I asked him, I'm like, I can log out your cash app. He was like, yeah. So I log out his, log into mine. First, I called a female. I'm texting some people around the pound who number I know by heart, trying to set certain stuff up, like find me another phone, get me some food, get me, you know, whatever the case. Then I asked him, I'm like, hey, you got some Chris Brown in here on you right now? He told me, I ain't got but two scoops left. I got to have 50 a piece for him. I can't take nothing less. I'm like, come on with it. Give me your cash up. So he gave it to me while I was on the phone. I sent it to him. I get up once. He give it to me. I started rolling one up right then and there while I'm on the, while I'm using the phone. Talking to who I needed to talk to, gave him the phone back. The man laying there for a while. Thanks, Josiah, for that support. The man laying there for a while and say, C. Bill, I'm like, what's up? You ain't gonna call your mama? <laughs> Bro, it's stupid to me. He say, C. Bill, you ain't gonna call your mama until happy Mother's Day, but he's not laughing. <laughs> He's not grinning, he's not cracking no smile or nothing. This man is dead serious, bro. So I'm like, bro, please don't tell me we finna do this, bro. Please, bro. He was like, no, I just let you use the phone, bro. You just handled all kind of business. You ain't gonna call your mama and tell her happy Mother's Day. Man, y'all making me damn laugh in the comments. Say so like, you ain't gonna call your mama and tell her happy Mother's Day. I'm like, Bishop, listen, bro. What I believe is, I'm not, I'm not letting nobody set no date. Thank you, Talk Heavy, for dropping that cash out. Talk Heavy dropping it. I'm not letting nobody set no certain date or nothing for me to make one day special for my mom, all right? Number one, I feel like a lot of these days, you know, are tied in with Satan some type of way. I can't, I can't prove it all to you right now because I don't know it as good but I'm still learning. I'm in the learning process right now. But from what I have researched, I feel like all of, the, all of these days, the days that's the same day, that's a set day, I feel like it all ties into Satan at the end of the day, some type of way. That's the origin. Now, I know the origin of something could be tied into Satan. And then other people will feel like, well, I know the origin of it is because of this, but that ain't got nothing to do with me because I celebrate it just for this. And if that's what you do, if that's how you live your life, who am I to tell you not to do it or whatever the case, hey, that's on you. But me personally, I just don't celebrate no day, bro. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, I don't do nothing. If I want to give my mama a gift, or if I want to tell my mama, hey, mama, you're a good mama, I just wanted to let you know that. I'm not waiting to a certain day that somebody told me this is the day to do that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm the type that does. C. Bill, so you mean to tell me you're not finna tell your mama Happy Mother's Day? You're not gonna tell your mama, your hard-working black queen, your black goddess, you ain't gonna tell her Happy Mother's Day. The man get up out the bed, bro. So I'm like, man. Now me and Bishop, we about the same size, same height, same weight, everything. He just blacker than me, uglier than me, and he had a nappy ass little, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, I'm like, bro, I know this man will post something out, and I know he probably got a candy bar in here somewhere. I don't got mines, obviously. So I'm like, if it goes there in my head, I'm like, bro, I'm just about to go crazy swinging, bro. I'm just about to go bananas, and I'm not stopping until we both getting pepper spray and are in handcuffs because I know if I just go light on him and he get to a candy bar, I know he gonna pull me out. Cause Bishop, he really with that. The man mind just crazy. So I said, no bro, did you just hear what I just explained to you, bro? The man gets up. 
walks over here to the door, pulls his phone out his pocket, and starts holding the side button down, powering the phone off. Listen, I've been locked up long enough to know. When somebody is mad and they go to cutting their phone off, that means they about to put it up so it's safe while they do something stupid. So I see the man doing I'm like, what the hell you got going on, bitch? He said, ain't no way. Ain't no way you ain't finna call your mama on Mother's Day, bro. Ain't no way y'all niggas ain't calling y'all mamas, bro. Your mama is precious, CBL, bro. You only get one mama, bro. How can you not call your mom on Mother's Day, bro? Now the man's voice starts cracking for real. Like he about to cry, bro. And now I'm thinking like, damn. I'm real life and I had to punch the shit out of this man because now he tweaking. Folks, is really tweaking. And you know, I'm not about to. This is not something I do, right? I don't call people on Mother's Day saying Happy Mother's Day. That's just something I don't do. I'm not saying nothing bad about it. I'm not saying, oh, you ain't no good mother. That's not what I'm saying. That's just something I don't do because of my own personal beliefs. So I'm like, I had a thought. Thank you, Marshawna Bailey, for that super chat. I had a thought to say, bro, just call Mon Dukes just to calm Buddy down because you ain't got no candy bar in this room. But, you know, he don't got one visibly right now neither. I know he about got one in here. But I'm like, if I call her, then I'm going to be weak. And then he may feel as if he can try me anytime or he can just handle me or say anything or talk to me crazy or anything. Because he gonna feel like all I gotta do is bow up at him and he's gonna do what I'm telling him to do. So I'm like, bro, I'm not doing that, folks. The man tried to hold the phone out to me again. He said, bro, I just cut the phone off, CBL, bro. Turn the phone back on, CBL. Call your mom and tell her Happy Mother's Day, bro. Call your mom and tell her Happy Mother's Day, bro. Now he's looking up at the ceiling. Now, y'all know, bro, you got conflict with somebody. Y'all both, you know, having issues and then one person just standing up, doing all this. But they finna swing on you or something, bro. They finna swing on you or something. Cooking with Rhonda, what up, though? So, I'm like, Bishop, bro, are you on drugs or something, folks? Are you geeked up? The man busts out laughing. He walks over there. He goes straight to his spot. He didn't give a damn if I knew where it was at or not. He put the phone up real quick. He put it up. He walks all the way back over here to the door. He pulls his pants up. The officer was walking by, I guess, doing count. The officer looked in there and went to walking back this way doing count. The man tying his pants up. He had on like some, some homemade pants that somebody stitched up for him. He turns back to me. He says, see, Bill. See, Bill. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I f with you, bro. Bro, I with you, bro. And it just pissed me off, bro. I knew what point we was at already. I already knew where we was at. I knew how I was about to go. And now you doing all this smacking and snacking your hands, telling me you wouldn't appreciate that, Nick. Thanks for that super chat. And, bro, I just told him, I was like, hey, listen, Bishop, bro. I don't care about none of that, bro. You you tweaking. You got me thinking you on the cream in here. And you doing all this, putting the phone up, pulling your pants up, tying your pants up. Screaming, smacking your hands together. Hey, bro, whatever you on, bro, that's just what it's going to be, bro. That's just what it's going to be, bro. So now I done took a slight little step closer to him. Now I'm right here by the toilet. He at the front door. So you got the door to the room, the sink literally next to it, the toilet, and then me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not swinging distance, but I'm one step then swinging distance. So I'm like, bro, you tripping, bro? You talking about you get a hell? You gonna try to make me call my mama, nigga? Like, 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 bro, what the hell you think I am, folks? It don't work like that, G. Appreciate that, all the tutter, Tita, that super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'm like, folks, you is real life tweaking, G. You can't make nobody do nothing like that, bro. The man said, so you ain't gonna call your mama until Happy Mother's Day. So you ain't gonna call your motherfucking mama until Happy Mother's Day. The man in real life started crying, bro. I swear to God, the man started crying. and started doing all this type of stuff. So, you know, I turned to the side now. Now, if you've been watching me long enough, you know that if I'm standing straight and I, you know, see that it's conflict or whatever, I'm going to curve to the left because if you stand straight up in a straight position and somebody push you, you're going to be knocked off your equilibrium and you're going to fall back. If I curve, I got my right leg 
to keep my balance, holding my front leg, and my front leg is keeping my back leg balanced. So if you push me, I'm not going to fall. Or if you hit me, you're not going to knock me out. I mean, unless you get a good shot. Y'all know what I'm saying. So I turn to the side. I throw my hands up a little bit. I'm like, bro, you tripping, bro. You is real life tripping, folks. Folks, you is tripping, bro. So he's like, man, fuck all that. Bro, fuck all that, bro. Man, you finna take that phone out. You just got to tell your mama happy Mother's Day, bro. You gonna tell your mama happy Mother's Day, bro. So I'm like, folks, I kind of laugh a little bit, but I can't even take him as a joke because I know he ain't damn playing. I know he for real. I'm like, Bishop, bro, you geeked up, bro. It's me, bro. It's CB, bro. I don't want to do nothing to you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to cause you no harm. But the whole time, I'm in fighting position because, nigga, you in fighting position. So I'm like, bro, I don't want to fight you, Bishop, bro. I don't want to do none of this with you. I just want to chill, do my time, and go home. And, man, that man came in and swung at me, bro. I weaved it. Hit him, and we was right there by that door fighting, bro. I'm talking about we was hitting hard, bro. Like two gorillas, bro. We hitting hard. And while we fighting, this man screaming, You ain't going to hell, mother. Come on, happy mother's day. You ain't going to hell, mother. Happy mother's day. And I'm like, bro, this man is on crack. This man is smoking crack. I'm like, bro, there is no way this is that serious to you, folks. What the what is wrong with you, G? <coughs> We ended up going on about a good 30, 40 seconds. I guess the officer hear the noise. You know, they run over there to the door. He called, scream on the cold. It's a 10 or a cold one, whatever they used to call a fight. I don't remember what they used to say. Uh, the officer screamed, y'all stop, y'all stop. So Bishop get a good one in, bro. He's stepping over the toilet. I'm still coming in at him like this. He get a like a little good one in right here. They're going to try to step back, like going to the back of the room. Talking about back up, back up, back up. Stop, boy. I'll take off to the back of the room, nigga. We ain't stopping until we are forced to stop. You're not about to do that, no. So I take off to the back of the room. We go at it again. We go to fighting again. Eventually, the supervisor got down there, opened up the flap, hit us with the pepper spray. While they hitting us with the pepper spray, where he got his phone hid at, I can't, I can't really be specific, but there's a a very light layer of something wherever it was. And all that liquidy pepper spray stuff coming in done started to slide it down, bro. So now we get pepper spray. Once I get pepper spray and I can't believe and I mean, I'm talking about I can't believe. I can't breathe and I can't really see that good. That's when I started backing up from him. Now I'm doing the damn windmill because I'm trying to protect myself. But at the same time, I can't see. I can't breathe or nothing. So I'm going backwards. So I guess he was over there because I didn't feel him no more. Then the damn police gonna say, you right here by the door, put your hands through the flap and cuff up. So I'm right here by the sink, coughing. <coughs> I can't see that. He talking about to put your damn hands through the flap and cuff up. I'm like, man, you done lost your damn eye. I done kind of turned a little bit, but I can't see nothing. My eyes is hot, bro. I'm like, man, you done lost your damn mind. You talking about some damn cuff up? I ain't cuffing up. This nigga I just was fighting in the room. So when I damn cuff up, he gonna come beat the hell out of me. I'm not cuffing up, bro. So he like, man, cuff up right now. I'm spraying some more. Cuff up now, M.A. I'm like, bro, just open the door. I'm right here by the door. We spray. We both can't see nothing. You can see. Open the door. Pull me out. Do what you got to do. Man, start spraying again. He starts spraying again. Pepper spray. But I got asthma, bro. That's real life. I got asthma. I damn near could not breathe. Like, no exaggeration. So, Bishop, go to screaming, I'm a cuff up. I'm a cuff up. I'm a cuff up. So, Bishop come running past me. He talking about, see, man, don't hit me, bro. If you hit me, you just hit me, bro. I'm a cuff up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. So, once I hear the handcuff clicking, I say, okay, well, shit, if he cuffed up, then I guess I'll cuff up. Because now I ain't worried about nobody whooping my ass while I'm in handcuffs. So, he cuffed up. Then they're like, man, come cuff up. So he move out the way. I go over there trying to find the door. I cuff up. They snatch us out the room, bro. It felt so much better, bro. When I came out the room, feeling like, <sighs> like I can breathe. They take us to the shower. They take us separate. So while they walking me, they're like, what the hell happened? What the hell going on? I'm like, man, I don't know, man. That man tweaking. So they're like, what happened? What did he do? What happened? I'm like, man, I don't know. The man just swung on me. So they're like, so he didn't say nothing. He didn't do nothing. I say, no, he swung on me. I swung back. Simple as that. So they like, man, you lying about something. You lying. Leave my door. I'm in the shower. Come right back to the shower like a minute later. 
who phone is it? This your phone or this your phone? So one of the cert from earlier, like, oh no, nah, you know, we got that phone. You, we, we got a phone off a of bill early. So he probably just came down here to the hole and made something shake again. Oh, that's his phone, put it on him. Cause we just caught him with a phone. So we know he had another phone. He probably had that phone. He just slid through the cracks, put it on him. I'm like, bro, that's not my phone, bro. He like, so what you saying? I'm like, I'm saying it's not my phone. He like, we just found it in your room. I'm like, I don't give a damn where you found it. That's not my phone. He said, so basically you snitching on your roommate. You snitching on your roommate and saying that it's his phone. I said, nigga, I'm not snitching on nobody. I don't give a damn nothing about my roommate. I'm telling you it's not mine. I don't care what you say, how you try to finesse it. It ain't mine. That's all I'm saying. My roommate in the shower right next to me. And he told sir, he said, sir, that my phone, sir. That ain't be your phone. That ain't had nothing to do with, bro. That's my phone, bro. That's my phone. So they write him up, write him a disciplinary report. They had us in there for a minute. These folks came back and said, about two hours later, left us in the shower for about two hours, came back and said, y'all straight man. Y'all ready to go back in the room. Y'all good. Ain't going to be no fight. So I hear Bishop say, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I really got out of character. I've been in here praying to God because I'm a child of God and I really got out of character because it was a real sensitive situation. But I'm good. I love Brother Bill. That's a good black man. And I don't want no issues with him. I'll go back in the room with him with no issues. I'm sitting in the shower like, boy, you done lost your goddamn mind. <laughs> if you think I'm going back in the room with your Looney Tune ass, you lost every... Uh, membrane in your damn brain. I'm not going back. So they come to me, asking me like, hey, man, y'all ready? I said, bro, I'm not going back in the room with him. So they're like, what you mean, man? The man said, we ain't got no more space. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going back in the room with the man. So the certain thing I'm trying, oh, you must be scared. Bill, you scared? You scared? Bill, you scared? You scared? I'm like, bro, call it what you want to. I don't give a damn. That stuff don't get to me, bro. You can't get me like that. I'm not scared, but I'm not going in the room yeah, I'm not going in the room. Somebody. I'm not going in the room with this man. I just got to fighting with this man. Why the hell would I go back in the room with this man? You was tweaking, G. So he like, you going to go in the room with him or you going to be in the shower all night? Might be in here all day till we try to find you another room. Might be tomorrow, two days, three days. I said, I don't give a damn if it's 30 days. I'm not going back in the room with L Stupido. I'm just not doing that, folks. So they take him out. Let him When they taking him out, when they open his door, he like snatch over from them a little bit. Now he had my shower though, he's handcuffed. Now the glass is only about this big. The man done pushed his face up to the guy. See Bill, black brother, I'm sorry, black brother. I'm sorry, I apologize. I talked to God. I talked to God and God told me to apologize to you. I'm a child of God, see Bill. And there is no way I let myself get out of character like that. I, I apologize, see Bill. I said, man, get your retarded ass the fuck away from my door. So. They snatched him up. They took him on. They took him back to the room. And I sat in that shower for probably about two days, bro. They brought me my trays in there. I stayed in that shower for about two days before a room became available. All my property was just sitting outside the cell for like two days. And um, they moved me to another room. And shit, I was straight. Everything was good. But yeah, it's your boy Bill. I just wanted to let y'all know about that. It's your boy Bill. Oh, and uh, when I eventually got out the hole, your boy Peabody G. Oh yeah, he got that. He he had to get that violation. He got three. It was three guys on his ass for a little minute. He had to get that because he caused all that distress. It's your boy Bill. I'm gone. I hope everybody enjoyed their day. Anybody who hit the cash app, I seen a few people saying, did you get that cash app? I didn't get it because I don't got the other phone with me. I mean, I, I'm not going to say I didn't get it. I'm not looking at it. But if you sent it, I got it. I appreciate you. That's all. Love, family. I appreciate all y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. If you did not hit the like button, please hit it for me on your way out. Before I end this live real quick, please hit it, bro. It just helps the algorithm go. It just helps me out. You still in Cobb, yeah. Anybody got any questions, anything for me before I dip? I'm getting ready to dip. Follow me, Talk Heavy. Talk Heavy dropping all my information. Appreciate that, family. Appreciate everybody who came through and showed your boy love. I'm gone. Hit me on IG.